Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. I like the look of this. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Looks to be going with the five iron. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Just didn't drop. And that should secure the par on this one. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She had a bad previous hole. Came off with bogey. Is tracking. It's always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. And the third hole here at Old Barretta Golf Club uh, looks very familiar, Rich. Par four, playing 444 yards. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards from the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pull. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you dearly love to make birdie on. Bit disappointing that one. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. That's not the outcome they were after. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. That gets the job done. And after that hole, this player finds himself in top spot with Tony Finau second. This hole is a par five. What a gargantuan tee shot. Playing from around 210 yards here. He's got a two-stroke buffer.
looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Putting for the big bird here. The birdie with big wings. Looking good. For Eagle. This player is putting for fun. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Opting for the three wood. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Well, that's huge momentum there bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's currently in fifth place. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, that's too bad. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Yep, tracking well. That will drop, and it will extend the lead. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Now, five shots up after that hole. This hole here is a par four. This shot from the first cut of rough. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. That's a perfectly fine result hitting from a lie like that. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Hammer hands putt. Putting for a par here. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Nicely hold. And for par. Our leader is up by four shots now. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Good looking shot, this. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Uh, 
Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game. A bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. I think they gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard and go racing past the hole. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. And she's hold it. Absolutely magnificent. And that'll certainly help her chances here. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. This hole is a par three. Opting for the five wood. Wow, very aggressive play on this approach, putting some pressure on their rival, Brooke Henderson. What an opportunity to make a birdie. On a nice line. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will move into six under par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Well, that really puts our leader way out in front of the pack now. And it's only the first round. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one. A really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot, the bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. That should find the surface. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. It was on a good line. Par putt coming up here. Now, ah, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. This is Brooke Henderson. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Now I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Always great to be in the lead, Luke. There's no doubt about it. But let's face it, lots of golf yet to be played. Let's see how this player handles it. Here we go. The tenth hole. That is absolutely spot on. Sitting at minus six, currently in the lead. Game with the seven. Good sounding strike, that one. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Oh, that's for 
his training. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for par here. Yep, tracking nicely. Yeah, we'll take that. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. Well, she's in fifth, and she'll want to climb from there. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Uh, looked good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Setting up now on a par four. <laughs> it's time for another highlight. Let's head to the 17th hole. Look at the shot that this player possesses. They've hold it. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. This is looking pretty good in the air. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Looking good so far. And that will drop in for Birdie. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. He's currently sitting in first place. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Going with the six iron here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That was a beauty. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. This one's for Birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Quality shot, that one. Sitting at eight under. Currently in top spot. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Okay, that'll work. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Here's Brooke Henderson. Boy, Rich, that was a big time save, that one. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. That's inside the range.
now at minus nine for the day. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got... I'd say a solid 145 here. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Better than most. And that's eight birdies today. Now that finds him in first place. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. like they're going with the pitching wedge this one's going right at the pin here wow what a shot four feet to the cup oh what a stroke and this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard And the player steps up to this short par four. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Playing from around 110 yards out. for the 9-iron. This one heading towards the green. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. There's part of about six feet coming up. Looks good off the blade. And Kate, steady now. An opportunity to make their par. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Oh, well played. Aren't you an expert in the bunker? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes are wide open standing here on the 17th tee of Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot, a little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. Well done. Got a lot of that. Getting ready to play their third.
Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. And Henny, what is she looking at here for this putt? Honestly, guys, I stopped counting at 40 feet. This is way out. Oh, just missed. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh, that's good grit there. In the bunker with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Nicely done. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 155. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Should find the green here. Oh, that's a great approach shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Oh, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. It's looking solid. And that will do it for this player today. How good's that golf? All day just looked in complete command of their game. Oh, it's been sparkling, hasn't it? It's been a pleasure to watch. It's got to be a little strange, though, having such a massive lead because there's only one way to go, and that's down. Let's see how they handle the pressure on the final round. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beeman. It's the final round here, Rich. What's our next player up against as they begin it? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping in it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Not bad. Playing this shot from 120 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. This should play. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Putting for birdie. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are at the second tee. to have chosen the seven iron anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice oh that's a great shot it sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Fantastic start right out of the gates. Currently 14 under for the event. Here we are at the third. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards from the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pool. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you dearly love to make birdie on. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Second shot here on the third. This one is chewing fiber. He seems to have zero regard for the fact that he's playing against a multiple major champion here just firing off approach shots like that wow no movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last let's see if they can deliver another one
Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. And here we are with the third shot. Well, if you can make that big putt, it'll save that bunker shot, that's for sure. A birdie putter waits. That putt went a bit long there. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. And this one will be for Bogey. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the Bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. Yeah, that was a safe play. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Ooh. And Henny, what are they looking at here? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for a bogey. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Time to tee off at the sixth. Well played, mate. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. Choosing the 9 iron here. That could play. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Here's a good chance to move to 14 under with this putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Now a par five hole awaits. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. <laughs> Lining up from about 230 yards here. This one needs to kick left.
Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Setting up here with a very long putt. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is their look at birdie. Oh, so close. Big putt for par coming up. Now oh, that'll hurt. Three putting in for par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. <laughs> Looks like they've got the five wood. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. This part here to get to 14 under the card. That's disappointing. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. He sits in first position. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, Boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot, the bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. This looks to be heading to the green. Gee, it's metronomic here, green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Oh, good look at a birdie here. It was on a good line. Good putters will make these, but on five feet. This one's looking good. Solid par putt, that. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Penny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Wow, that's misjudged. Nice little putt to hold that one. Welcome to the tee of a par four.
That's some good golf right there. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, stop it. What a shot. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Sitting at minus 14 now for the event. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Opting for the six iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Whew. Talk about dialed in. That thing had eyes for the hole. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We've arrived at a par four. See, shot is looking good here. <laughs> Playing from around 150 yards here. <laughs> Chosen the pitching wedge here. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 13th. A seven-footer right here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a Birdie. Well, that'll play. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. You like that, didn't you? And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from around 135 yards. Mm. Put the indicator on and it's taking a right turn. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for his par. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Outstanding shot, high quality. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it.
Ah, that's frustrating. Just a four footer remaining. And the putt drops now a sweet 16 under heading down the stretch. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. Next up is this two shot hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. That's a chunky lie. It's going to take all their talents to get out of this one. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yep, yeah, this is lovely. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, just missed. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. And now that finds him in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Always like it when they take the big dog and let it rip from the middle of the fairway. That's tiny. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Ooh, nice line. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Still in the lead now after that hole. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Out a boy, good shot. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, tidy looking shot that. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. They've done it. Hold it for the victory, and it's not their first. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season.
Well, they came, they saw, and they conquered. They took down a fierce rival, and that's a victory they should be proud of, Henny. Yes, Luke, we doubted them, but they got the job done and they took down their hero. The rivalry is theirs and theirs alone. And they can boast about this on social media for, well, weeks now. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elby saying so long from 2K Sports.